Yes, yes, that's a snap of the fingers. Okay, we're continuing in the mimer on tough. What the Rebbe said on tough. Shin Chaf Zion, when he was uh, announced that he was uh, freed from exile. It's in Kuntresim Aleph. The Hitavut Olamot, the creation of the worlds, we're in the second paragraph. The Hitavut Olamot, the creation of the worlds, Hu al Yedea Midot. This is what I just told you. This is by means of the emotions of God. Kamoshi Katuv, like it says, Sheshit Yamim Asa Hashem. At the Shamayim at Oretz. Six days God made the heavens and the earth. It doesn't say in six days. It says six days God made the heavens and the earth. It was God made the heavens and the earth in the form of six days. Each day is a different emotion of God. Shabbat, God didn't make anything. That Shabbat is Malchut. That's the seventh emotion. The Sheshit Yamim, that the six days, they are the six emotions of God. This is what every... Young man says it is bar mitzvah. Your son will say this is bar mitzvah. Tefillin to Mari Alma, right? The Jewish people say we would like to learn Torah day and night. What can we do? We haven't got the time. God says put on tefillin. It will be like you're learning Torah. And he explains that the world is created by God's emotions. And God's intellect is the Torah. And we, So putting on tefillin is also intellect into the emotions. Just like Torah is intellect in the chativ and it is written... It says, remember your mercy and your kindness because they come from the world. They come from the world. In other words, God's emotions, mercy, is God's tiferet, chesed, that comes from the olam. That's one of the the world, which is created in six emotions of God. That this idea of mercy and Kindness is relevant to the world. That's the part of the seven emotions of God. Aval mochin, but God's intellect, heim lamayla, they are above mi bechinet than being shaychot el olamot. That's the Torah, God's intellect. It was before the world. So what's the point? The point is that the world is a creation from God's emotions. And when we reveal God's intellect in the world, then there starts to make a little sense in the world. Intellect is sense. The world starts to make sense. That's what the idea of the Torah and the commandments are, to put a little bit of sense into the world. A lot of times people lose, leave the Torah, they leave their common sense. Right? You see things that happen in Israel, in the government, and the, 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 you know, they see that these things are just against common sense. You know, they just give, they give our enemies terrorists, they give them land and they let them shoot rockets at us. I mean, this is against, even a non-Jew wouldn't allow a thing like that. Sometimes people leave the Torah, they leave common sense. The world starts not making sense anymore. Right? They, they, they do things to add to the nonsensicalness of the world. Hain be'ikaram rak giloy la'atzmo. Essentially, God's intellect is only revelation to himself. The Torah was to himself. It was before the world. Okay, Herschel. The Yadu and it is known. The Gilei La'atzmo, that God's revelation to himself, namely the Torah, as it was before God gave it to the world. The Gilei La'azulot, that revelation to oneself and revealing oneself to others, Heim Rechokim Me'od Zemizeh. A people have an idea to themselves. That's one thing. To reveal it to someone else, oh, right? How many times people say, I'm going to go and I'm going to do and I'm going to work and I'm going to make and I'm going to create and I'm going to succeed and I'm going to do this tomorrow. Tomorrow. First thing. First thing tomorrow, I am going to go up and I'm going to work. I'm going to learn. I'm going to take this course and I'm going to finish it and the, 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 the degrees that I already have, I'm going to use them. I'm going to go and I'm going to apply and I will and I'm going to succeed. There's no doubt about it. Tomorrow. First thing, first thing in the morning, I'm go- in other words, to think about what you're going to do and to actually do it is a big, big difference, big difference. <clears throat> People can have plans and they can work it out, and, but actually going out and doing it, maybe not. I'm not ready yet. But don't you have to plan the future? Yes, you do, but you have to, after you finish planning, you have to do something to make the future. You can't leave the future totally up to God. You have to be God's partner to make a new future. But 
can't, doesn't God give you choices of what you want to do? Yes, but you have to do. You have That's to do. why there's the idea of don't being lazy. That's right. Exactly right. And that's what the world is. The world is lazy. The world is lazy. The world is lazy. The world does not want to do what it's supposed to do. But the world a lot of times doesn't even know what it's supposed to do. So there we have intellect. All of these wonderful ideas in the Torah and the power in the Torah. But that's also stuck up there. So there's a big difference between God's ideas, the way the world is supposed to be, and the way that it actually is. In, in Hebrew they say, Ben haratsui v'hamatsui. What is desirable and what actually is. Of Allah Yudei Tefillin, but when a person actually puts on Tefillin, who am shachas mochin, this draws down God's intellect into Zeranpin, into the world, into this, what's called the world. Zeranpin is God's emotions. The nimshach tosvas oros ba'olamos, and there is drawn down extra additional light into the worlds. Who could believe it? It's something like a person, a person is sick, they give him a shot. The shot is one little tiny needle, goes into one little tiny part, and makes his whole body health. Makes all the, and nowadays they have the inoculations and whatever it is, the vaccinations and this. It could be that one little shot stops a whole entire plague from happening in the world. This person, one guy, he gets you know, some disease, he spreads it to somebody else, one little shot. Same thing, one person puts on tefillin, could save the whole world. Ah, but Zeu Davka, this is only if the tefillin him kill chasam. This is only if the tefillin are proper. They are kosher. You have to take your tefillin and get them checked. Al pitora, beklaf with parchment, video, and ink. Bichtivata vasiatan, with their writing and their doing. I remember I used to go around checking mezuzahs, people's houses. You check for free. Mezuzahs. Sometimes people would have on the, the thing that have well, a mezuzah that was maybe put on in the time of Noah. You know, the flood. Who knows? The, this, there was no letters on it. It was just a piece of parchment that was all... <laughs> right? Zero. Don't touch that. It's our mezuzah. But you can put a kosher one. No, 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 no. That mezuzah is good luck. Who said it's good luck? Who said it's good? God said it's good luck. So what, who decided it's good luck? God, not you decided it's good luck. Well, there was that story you showed me a couple months ago about the Did I show it? I don't remember. Yeah, there was a problem with the they were cheap. Uh, 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 somebody in Chabad checked them. I don't know what came out of that. I think that, that it, this, the problem was not as serious as he said it was. I think that's in the end. That's what came out of it. In any case, but sure, that's the, that's the problem, right? <clears throat> so, the, the, so I mean, if you're going to put a mezuzah on your door, why do you put it on your door? Because God says you should put it on your door. So the mezuzah should be a proper mezuzah. Right? If you're going to do it, so do it, you know, it's like you go into a baseball game, you want to play baseball, but you don't want to play according to the rules. Right? I'm playing baseball, I'm here. But, you know, you throw the ball any direction you want to, and, you know, you can hit some people with bats. You know, that's what you have bats for, to hit the umpire, or hit anybody you want. That's not the rules. You can't do that. The same thing was with putting Torah. You want to go to to do Torah of a mitzvah, well, do it the way the Torah says to do it. You know, it's true there are different opinions, so go according to one of those valid opinions. You know, but don't, don't say, I don't care about any opinion. Masha'en king kishyesh b'hem is a pasul, which is not the case if the mezuzahs or the tefillin are pasul, they are disqualified. Hari batl kalam shacha, then there's no connection made. It's like a television with one tube or one wire missing. So it is with all the commandments. <clears throat> what does it mean? What's the Rebbe's point here? A reaction from God. God reacts to what we do. But you want that reaction to occur. Is it has to be that you have a proper action. The action has to be proper. So the example of the television is not exactly a proper one. Because according to the television, it means that godliness is here everywhere. And you just tune into it. That's also true. It's also true. Tefillah, prayer, is also you purify yourself. But there's an additional thing. Godliness is not everywhere. God made the world concealed. And by means of you doing a commandment, that evokes God's will. God gets more pleased. The world is better than it was before he was created. Of course God is everywhere. But it's only a certain aspect of God. When a person does a commandment or prays, a better aspect comes. That's why people are sick. 
right? God is everywhere. How can people be sick? Because it's a low aspect of God. By means of you praying or doing a commandment, that makes a new revelation of God that helps the world. The kasher nasu betikuno, if the world is made, if a commandment is done properly, he may behold, then bahem va'al yadam, that in them and through them, hari nimshach tosvas or, there is made actually a new type of light in the world, higher than the creation, higher than the way it is now. It makes a perfection in the world. Like it wasn't the Holy Temple. Right? The Holy Temple didn't just reveal God as it is here in the world. It revealed a higher aspect of God. When God gave the Torah, it revealed a higher aspect of godliness in the world. Okay. Bior. Let's do another three minutes. Bior Inyan. Now let's explain this. Now here again, the Rebbe is pointing out what a Jew is and what a Jew's purpose is in the world, how good and wonderful and positive it is that Jews do the commandments. What a wonderful, amazing thing it is that they actually draw godliness, new levels of godliness, of good and blessing into the world. Beer Indian, let's explain. Tehine, mitzvahs Hashem, the mitzvahs of God, Nikroim are called a lot of names. They're called sometimes Eidut, they're called sometimes Chukim, and they're called sometimes Mishpatim. I think we, re- we learned about this before. Remember Herschel. Nikroim, Bekama, the mitzvahs of God. There are commandments with there are religious commandments. Those are called Eidus. Eidut, they testify on something that God did for us. Chukim, those are laws which have no meaning to them. They're not understandable at all. It's forbidden to boil milk and meat together, just to boil it. That makes sense? You can boil milk, milk, you can boil meat, but you cannot boil milk and meat together. Forbidden. (coughs) Mishpatim are logical laws. Don't kill, don't steal. Those common sense brings to you. Three types of commandments in Judaism. Okomo, Shabbat. For instance, Shabbat. Shabbat is an oat. This is a sign to the Jewish people. Sukkot. This is so that you should know. These are called edut. They testify on something. They testify that God created the world. They testify, Sukkot, that God took the Jews out of Egypt and protected them. Hoshavti et b'nei Yisrael, b'hotzi otam eretz Yisrael, when I took them from Egypt. Mishpatim, they are mitzvahs which are according to seichel. Intellect. Like don't steal, don't rob, don't cheat. Honor your parents. And chukim, they are laws that have no logic at all. Ki'im gezeira takatuv. They are the decree of God. Like, Ra- like Rashi says on Zos Chukat Torah, last week's portion that we learned here in Israel. Lefisha satan, because the devil, for umot olam, and the non-Jews, monim et Yisrael, monim et Yisrael, Lomar, they make trouble for the Jews and they say, Ma mitzvah zot lachem, what commandment is this to you? Ma tam yishbo, what type of reason is it? You Jews are fools. What do you, you can't eat milk look, and meat together. It doesn't make any sense. The whole, all these commandments that you have are nonsensical. The fichal cause it says chukat. Those are laws, are gazero. These are pure godliness. God purely on his own decided this is what he wants the Jews to do. So there's three types of commandments. Each commandment has its own ability to draw godliness down, as we'll talk about more, God willing, tomorrow.